to Sandy. I'm so happy to be here today having such a great time. Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah. So Sandra, do me a favor and introduce yourself and what your title is for the audience. All right, I'm Sandra Bogan. I'm the Environmental Education and Outreach Coordinator mm -hmm. for uh, St. Lucie County's Environmental uh, Resources Department yes. at the Oxbow Eco Center. Oxbow Eco Center. And who's your friend? Uh, <laughs> is this Sandy the Sandhill Crane? Yeah, it is. I oh, like so that Sandy name. Sandy. Yeah, Sandhill Cranes, I think a lot of people are familiar with these big birds. Yeah. You can't miss them, really. And then I have here on my lap, which kind of feels like it's, uh, you know, real, because it is, it is real. That's right. Um, and this is a bobcat, right? It is a bobcat. We have bobcats out here, actually, at the Oxbow. And the good news is when people are out here, it's during the day. Bobcats are taking a break during the day, so you don't have to worry about them. Yeah, and you really can't walk up and pet them like I'm doing here, right? No. Yeah. I do want to point out that we salvage animals here. So that bobcat was actually hit by a car, oh. and we um, salvaged it and had it taxidermied so that people could get up close and personal with a bobcat. Good point to make, though, right? Yes. The other good point to make is we're uh, having a little fun today with the with the uh, props, but we're really not supposed to, when we come into the Oxbow Center, touch any of these things. Ooh, right? so that's it's a true. Occasion here that we're able to actually touch and that's feel. Right. So you're special. Just to kind of, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and it's um, very nice of you to let us do that today and let the audience see. But you know what else is nice today? Just being in the air condition here after walking <laughs> around outside. It's kind of hot outside. It's pretty warm, yeah. So tell us about inside here in the Oxbow. Well, the Oxbow is an environmental learning center, and the room we're in right now is the exhibit room. So we have some fantastic exhibits. This is a diorama of the St. Lucie River, so it's a miniature version of the St. Lucie River, giving you a fish eye view. So if you were a fish, this is how your world would look. And the river actually goes from the freshwater um, headwaters of the, of the river to the brackish area. So now we're in Port St. Lucie in this area all the way to the estuary until you meet the Indian River Lagoon and then the ocean. So what you, the fish that you find and the crustaceans that you see in this diorama is where they would be along the river. That's great. Yeah. The uh, exhibit itself is really neat to look at, but I also love that you've got this hands-on uh, opportunities for the kids and adults um, because, you know, people learn differently, kids You're and right. adults, right? They learn by seeing, they learn by listening, and they learn by doing. Yes. And so here you go, you have that opportunity and you give that opportunity to everybody. So I think that's really cool. Every person learns differently. Some people are tactile, some people are visual, mm -hmm. some learners are very logical. And so at the Oxford, we try to reach all of those um, from art classes to Tai Chi classes to straight lectures. You know, you're just trying to make sure there's something for everyone and everyone can learn and grow to appreciate the natural world. I was coming here when the boys were small right. and um, I think my youngest was four, is what we we're saying, and he's, he's 12 now. And your oldest is 17. 17 now, yeah. Well, both of them are bigger than me, way bigger than <laughs> me, which it's not, you know, it's not hard yeah. to be when I'm only five foot tall, but right. you know, they're big boys and when, you know, we used to come out here when they were babies and we'd sit on your porch and do the crafts with you. Yeah. Well, remember we used to make the, um, pine cones with the peanut butter right and for we'd, bird feeders we'd eat the, yeah but we would eat the peanut butter <laughs> and get it all over my door it was all over it was crazy we quit doing that exactly. you did you i was gonna say we you're did. still doing it oh it was a mess you know it was so much fun and the kids had a great time no matter what the craft was or if we were doing you know like the little hunts where you'd walk around looking for yes. things remember that so what kind of things do you do still for little kids? Because that was, that was like eons ago for me. So. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've um, increased and improved. Some of the things that we do, we still have Nature for Families. That's the second Saturday of every month. We have a story time. We call it Swamp Tales. Um, Oxbow and the Natives highlights a different native species of Florida every month. And we also do classes for public schools, private schools, and we included, which, sorry we didn't have this back then, a homeschool day. You know what I love about um, this facility and just the, our park system in general within the city and the county right. is that there are things to do here when you have four-year-olds and there are things to do here if you want to come with a loved one as an adult. So, you know, we can come here and do some crafts, we can come here and learn, and we can come and do some nice walks, right. you know, holding hands and walking in the trails, 
and also the uh, the active part, which is getting on those kayaks out there too, yeah. which is really cool too. So in addition to this great diorama, yes. all the hands-on learning, the other part of this building is actually that that's fascinating is actually the building itself. The building was built uh, with a lot of green technologies integrated into its construction. I know when you walked up, you bounced up on our recycled tire walkway. I did. Yes, and everybody loves that because you feel eight years old again. We have a cistern system that captures rainfall and it's used to flush our toilets, so we're not using precious aquifer water to flush our toilets. That kind of seems silly. Our floor is actually salvaged ancient longleaf pine. So it was a 300 year old longleaf pine tree that was felled in the turn of the 20th century, late 1800s. Wow. It sat in the river for a hundred years and then it was pulled up to create this floor. So no new, the idea being that no new trees were felled for this floor or any of the woodwork you see in here. That's impressive. We use um, passive light design, you know, letting the natural light come in, yet very large overhangs so that you're not getting all the heat as well. Okay. Um, and of course we, we try very hard. We have pretty, pretty low energy bills here. So all of our lights are energy efficient. So a lot of really neat things that were included in the construction of the building. So we try to live by example. The Oxbow is free. There's no admission. People can come out and just, you know, enjoy the exhibits. We have a nice library. We have some live animals. You have a gift shop. I have a gift shop. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> well, listen, Sandy, thanks so much. You're welcome. For the tour inside. And Amanda gave us such a great tour outside. Yes. It's really just a great opportunity for us to take, you know, all this hard work that you guys are putting into this area and really share it with the citizens in the city of Port St. Lucie. So thanks so much for taking that time this morning and doing that. Right, I think we have a jewel here. You really do. I know, I know Port St. Lucie residents uh, appreciate all that you do um, in this wonderful city. That's great, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for joining me on this adventure through the real Florida, where past and present work together to keep visitors coming back.